Okay, so first episode, thought I should tell you about one of my very early design fascinations, which is chewing gum wrappers. This one's particularly beautiful. It smells nice and it's got a lovely purple texture to it as well. Oh, it's gorgeous. Anyway, chewing gum wrapper. See those perforations on the edges? For a long time as a kid, I was absolutely enthralled with how you could get something like that to happen on paper. So I used to cut little tiny bits of paper in diagonals. Uh, it would never end up as perfect as uh, the chewing gum wrappers um, that you get out of a stick of gum. But anyway, uh, that was one of my early design fascinations. And uh, it still is to this day. I just love the, the feel of them. I love how that you can make them into little bits of origami. But more importantly, um, there's a whole area of crafts related to chewing on wrappers, uh, which I'm sure you can Google. And uh, there's also patents on <laughs> chewing gum wrappers dating to 1933. The invention relates to a chewing gum wrapper, or more specifically to an enclosing envelope for an individual stick of gum, which is provided with means for opening the enclosing envelope, which means together with the gum itself furnishes means for and method of cleaning teeth. What? That's absolutely crazy. Wow. So yeah. Chewing on wrapper could lead you to many, many interesting things on the internet. Um, on YouTube, I found a video, how to make a prism lighter for a bubblegum wrapper. It's amazing. The guy just uh, uses a battery, a standard um, AA battery, and um, gets the chewing gum to chewing gum wrapper to, to fit on both ends of the electrodes. Clearly, it's conductive somewhere. And it starts to light up in the middle. I've got to try that later. It's quite interesting. So yeah, second episode, on to the third.